Hi guys, welcome to Curious Life. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the Fly Lady morning routine and how we're going to have to change it to fit in with our new lifestyle. If we haven't met yet, I miss her and I make intentional homemaking videos with my wife Place. So let's get started. Our morning routine doesn't actually start in the morning. It actually starts the evening before, which I guess you could consider to be an evening routine, but it is so connected and so important to the morning routine that I wanted to mention it here. The key things I do the night before are making breakfast and lunch. There is absolutely no way I'd have time to do this in the morning because we already get up pretty early and have a pretty busy morning already. So both lunch and breakfast have to be things that keep well in the fridge overnight. For breakfast, it's usually quick overnight oats, which are just made with oats, berries and milk and stirred and popped into the fridge. We sometimes add some chia seeds as well, but that's about as complicated as it gets. And lunch is usually a salad with some homemade meatballs and savoury muffins and some snacks. I batch cook a lot of that and freeze it so that it just makes life easier overall. And then every day I just get out what we need for that day. I tend to do this part of the routine while I'm making dinner. It's so that I don't have to worry about it later. And then before bed we always pack our bags for the next day and pick out clothes. We also do a couple of extra things like um, making sure the draining board's clear and the sink is clear and stuff like that. Just to make the morning run smoother. Doing all of this has really helped reduce the chaos that mornings can bring with them and it just makes everything run so much smoother. But after we've done all this, it's time for bed. Mornings start pretty early for us with a 5.30am wake up time, for half the week anyway. Then it's just a really busy time getting ready to leave the house. And this is where our morning routine has had to change the most. Last week I mentioned that we decided not to replace our car after an accident and this has meant that our morning routine has not only had to change but it has become much more important for it to run efficiently and smoothly. We just don't have a lot of time for errors for most mornings. And that's because now instead of relying on the car we have to rely on trains and our legs. So if anything goes wrong in the morning it can mean missing a train which would have huge knock-on implications for the rest of the day and the week. So once we're ready we head out as a family to get three things done in one. We walk Blaze to the train station so that she can head to work. We spend some time together getting some exercise and just spend some time together that we don't usually get when we're busy. And the dog is getting her walk early, which leaves me free for the rest of the day to get on with my to-do list. It's not a short walk either. It totals about five miles for me. And Blaze walks even further because she has to do it twice. This replaces the time that we used to spend at the gym in the mornings. So we're gonna have to work out how to add in some extra exercise too in the future. Because the walking's great, but it's not quite enough. But once we've seen Blaze off on the train, me and Cora take a slightly slower walk home. And today it was one of those lovely autumn mornings, to start with anyway. So we detoured through a park to give Cora a more pleasant walk. And it's just nice to see the scenery and that relaxing time in the morning. That was until it rained. We got absolutely soaked and we had to dry off when we got home. Once we were dry, my morning routine could continue. Mornings are pretty busy and constant, but it is worth it to make the rest of the day much less busy and less stressful. I usually feed the dog and the cat next because they are usually ready for breakfast about this time. And then I head to the bathroom to do a key part of the fly lady routine, which is a swish and swipe of the bathroom. This is just a quick clean of like the sink and the toilet and the surfaces um, and I was really sceptical that this was going to work and keep the bathroom clean but it really does work. Then I head back downstairs and empty the dishwasher and do a little bit of a tidy up of the kitchen. This is another really key part of the routine for me. An empty dishwasher means that any dirty dishes that are made in the day can go straight in the dishwasher and they're not left in the kitchen sink piling up for later. It just makes it much easier to keep the kitchen clean and tidy. After this, I'm finally at the point where I can look after myself and I make breakfast and a coffee.
Then the final part of my routine is the most relaxing, but it is probably one of the most important, and that's planning. Sometimes this takes a long time, and sometimes it's just a quick look and see what needs doing that day. So I grab my planners and my coffee and get to work. Today I had quite a lot of planning to do, so I grabbed a blanket and settled in. But I want to mention that this is an example of our routine. This is the routine we follow for half of the week. The rest of the week, Blaze works from home, and we were able to get up slightly later, not much, but only about half an hour, and instead of walking to the train station, Blaze takes Cora for a walk while I make us breakfast, coffee, and prepare snacks for the day. It's still as busy, but it's just a little bit more relaxed, which is nice. One thing that was important to us was that our routine was flexible enough to work on both busy days and our easier days. Routine is important to us because we are a neurodivergent household, so keeping to this routine reduces anxiety and ensures that things don't get forgotten or missed. It just makes our life easier, which is why we do it. But routines do have to change when life changes, so making sure your routine and system are still working for you it is important. And you can customise your routine however you need. This is just what works for us. For many people, getting up at 5.30am to walk the dog is not ideal. And I am not a morning person, so it's really weird for me to do this. But the benefits are worth the early morning. And there's no doubt that our routine will change again. But anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more videos like this. And about intentional homemaking and life organisation. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!